A sample of the male sex hormone testosterone C19 H28 O2 contains 3.88 times 10 to the 21st hydrogen atoms. A. How many atoms of carbon does it contain? Well, if we look at the formula, we have C19 H28 O2. We see that one molecule of testosterone contains 28 hydrogen atoms, two oxygen atoms, and 19 carbon atoms. We always start with what we have. So we have 3.88 times 10 to the 21st hydrogen atoms. We want to cancel hydrogen atoms and we want to get the carbon atoms. The ratio of hydrogen atoms to carbon atoms in the formula is 28 to 19. So we put 28 hydrogen atoms on the bottom and therefore these units will cancel and we have 19 carbon atoms on top. When we plug it into our calculator with the correct significant figures, which is three, we get 2.63 times 10 to the 21st carbon atoms. Question B asks, how many molecules of testosterone does it contain? Again, we start with what we are given. We are given 3.88 times 10 to the 21 hydrogen atoms and we have to come up with the ratio between hydrogen atoms and molecules. Well, we can see in our formula that there are 28 hydrogen atoms for one testosterone molecule. Again, we want to cancel hydrogen atoms, so we put these units at the bottom, and we want to get molecules, and we say that there, is, there are 28 hydrogen atoms for one molecule. When we plug into it into our calculator, we get 1.39 times 10 to the 20 molecules of testosterone. Question C asks, how many moles of testosterone does it contain? For this question, in order for us to convert between moles, it is easier for us to use molecules. And the number that we will use is Avogadro's number, which is here. This is the number of molecules, particles, or atoms in one mole of something. So if we calculated in the previous example that we have 1.39 times 10 to the 20 molecules, we can easily convert it to moles by using the Avogadro's number. Again, since my molecules is on top, I want to put molecules on the bottom to cancel it. And I want to put mole on top because that is the unit I'm looking for. I know, thanks to the Avogadro's number, that one mole of anything contains, or in this case testosterone, contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of testosterone. So my molecules will cancel, and when I plug it into my calculator, I get 2.31 times 10 to the negative four moles of testosterone. The last question asks, what is the mass of the sample in grams? Again, we have to think, how do we get grams? Well, to convert between moles and grams, we use the molar mass. So for question D, we need molar mass. We get the molar mass by looking at the periodic table, um, finding the mass of each element and multiplying it by the number of atoms we have and then adding it up. I already calculated the molar mass to be 288.42 grams per mole. We can start part D with moles of testosterone. I have 2.31 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of testosterone C19H28O2. Again, I want to get rid of moles, so I put moles on the bottom, and I want to get grams, so I put grams on top and I used my molar mass. Molar mass is in the units of grams per mole. One mole of C19H28O2 has 288.42 grams. Again, my moles will cancel here and I get the grams, which is what I'm looking for. And when I plug it in, I get 0 0.0666 grams of testosterone. Please subscribe to my channel for more great chemistry videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.